Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Wingman Wisdom. I am the RV Wingman, and today I hope that I don't take you too deep into the weeds, and if I do, I do apologize. But if you like this kind of content, please drop a comment below. In fact, if you don't like this and you think it's too deep in the weeds, let me know that as well. All right. Last week, I did a video about something that smelled kind of fishy. Somebody that watches Wingman Wisdom had sent me a note, and I'm going to delve into it a little bit deeper. I am not going to accuse anybody, any dealer of any impropriety, but it shows that there are a lot of people that are confused out there. I think confusion can be a good thing. It can also be a very, very bad thing. When people are confused, they can make bad mistakes that they will pay for for a long, long time. So let's see if we can unravel this and get to the bottom of it again. Let me know, know what you think of this content. This began with an email that I received from a lady named Debbie. She and her husband were up in Michigan. She says that they looked in an RV at General RV in Wayland, Michigan, a Thor 4 Wind Sprinter 24LT. In October, we looked at it, took a picture of the stock number attached. I'm going to show you that picture in a second. In January, we looked at the same one and the picture online with the same stock number. Shows 2023. Told us it was a 2022 and could get for about 100000 Then when we went inside, he said, oops, it's a 2023 for 119 It's a 2022. My husband wants to know what you think of this. So that, again, was at General RV in Wayland, Michigan. And here are the pictures that Debbie sent. There's the first one. You see General RV, stock number 273584. Now, a stock number is not the same as a VIN number. The VIN number is really the most important thing. A stock number, you can have many, many units that have the same stock number. However, people can get confused, and a sneaky, scummy dealer could really take advantage of this. I'm going to tell you how in a bit. So there's the first picture, and supposedly it is the same exact RV. That was October. This is January. Got the same uh, stock number, 273584, and they're calling it a 2023. So what the wingman did? Well, we contacted General RV and said, we're confused. Is it possible that you could have two more than one RV with the same stock number? or not. We contacted General RV, and this is what they said to us. This was, if you look up here, this was on January the 24th, so that was more than a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is the auto response we got back, and we have not received anything else from General RV to date. Hi, Chris. Thank you for contacting General RV. One of our RV experts will be reaching out very soon. They'll be able to answer all your RV questions. Obviously, this is just an auto response, but it's been a couple of weeks and nothing, not a word. And that just makes me, I don't know, it makes things sound even fishier, at least to me. So we ran the video last week, and then immediately I start getting other emails and uh, comments. I'm going to show you some comments in a minute. But uh, this is one that came in. This is an email from Angela. Angela said, Aloha, just watch your newest video uh, thank you. We are in that exact situation. We ordered and put down a down payment on a 2023 Winnebago at Mike Thompson RVs. However, the purchase order states 2023, but it's using the same stock number as the one listed on their site as a 2022. When asked, they said it was a generic stock number, and I am indeed getting a 2023. Do you have any way of confirming this, please? I don't have a VIN yet. It's purportedly coming off the assembly line at the end of the month. Angela, thank you for sending me that note. Debbie, thank you, and thank you all for watching. Again, a VIN number is not the same as a stock number. However, however, can you just picture this? What if a creepy, sleazy RV dealer said, you know what, we're going to put that, and we're going to just slide in the 22 VIN number on the purchase agreement. When you go and you buy your RV, you're all excited. There's all those papers to sign, all that stuff they push out in front of you. And it's easy to get distracted, right? There's a sign. And you may be signing on a 2022 thinking you're getting a 2023. I'm not saying that General RV or anybody else is doing that. But could it happen? I don't know. Do you think it could happen? Let me know what you think. So let's go to some of the comments folks had uh, after this video. Uh, Ronald says these people are greedy, they're desperate, and they're struggling to hang on. Uh, they did it to themselves. There's Wes Alexander. Thank you, Wes, as always. Um, here's some more. Let's see. Oh, Kathleen, this is a really good comment. To determine the make, model, and any year of any RV, open the door. 
Look at the metal printed info for your vehicle. That is what matters. Stock numbers that a dealer assigns to a vehicle or prints on a paper label or sign mean nothing. When you purchase an RV, your contract is going to be referencing a VIN number, not a stock number. Kathleen is absolutely right on that. That's what I'm saying, though, about being confused. If you're confused now and you go into the closing room when the finance guy has you sign all those papers and you're confused and you're not paying attention to numbers, could it be snuck in there? Maybe it's inadvertent. Maybe it's not going to be snuck in there. I don't think many RV dealers are going to do this, but could they? I don't know. I think that they could. Kathleen says, uh, sorry to be getting bent all out of shape because uh, vamping world is not vamping world or whoever uh, reused a stock number on a piece of paper or chalk on a windshield, that is meaningless. Much ado about nothing. I think you're probably right, Kathleen. But again, who knows? Julie says, great work to those who busted this snake oil salesman. I didn't accuse General RV of anything, and I'm not. I'm just saying that when we contacted them on the 24th of January, and we said, could you just clear this up for us? We're with, you know, the Wingman Wisdom YouTube channel. Would like to get some clarity. Nothing except their form uh, response, auto response. Anthony says dealer stock numbers are quite, um, are unique to every dealer and have a thousand different formats depending on the dealer. A stock number has no rules or reasoning outside of that dealer. In reality, a dealer could use the same stock number for every RV on their lot. I guess they could. Sounds like some reader is looking for Watergate. <laughs> what does it matter what the stock number is? Get over it and decide if the RV is what you're looking for that meets your needs and you want to buy it. Anthony, you're right. But at the same time, I'm saying we've got to focus. We've got to really pay attention to the numbers they put in front of us. You know, so much depends upon what is on that signed document. That's why I say it's important not just to read the numbers, but to read your warranty. Understand how things work after you roll out of the driveway. What's going to be the, the when you get the thing serviced, what's the procedure to do that? Understand all those things before you sign on the dotted line. Uh, Kathy says, I've noticed a lot of people are seeing this, this the, the same stock number on different years of RVs. Uh, I've noticed that as well on the Montana high countries. We're looking at purchasing a 30, 331 RL, 22 and 2023 have the same uh, stock number. You know, it goes on and on and on. Uh, Mary says, uh, we men, I don't know enough to have an opinion. However, I'm thankful you brought this to light and I'll be uh, careful searching. Thank you and take care. Lots of folks responded. Uh, Joy, our friend up in Michigan, says she came across the same thing when she vis- visited the RV show in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Camping World wasn't there. General was. I know s- some same stock numbers, but the older units produced early 2022 had the same stock number as those produced in late 22. So consider 2023s. It's infuriating. I want to tell you folks something. You are so valued by me. Even if you disagree with me, I love hearing from you. I think that we are a community. Hopefully we feed off of each other. I can provide you with some ideas, some thoughts, some insight, and you provide me with some. We don't have to agree all the time. And I'm not saying that the dealers or the industry are crooked. Not a bit. Are some of them? Mm, Yeah. Unfortunately, some human beings are bad too. And that could be somebody watching the channel. I've even got a little bit of bad in me. Try to tame it, but it's the truth. We have to watch out for each other. RVing is a great way to spend your years. It really is. So many people that watch Wingman Wisdom are are 45 and up, and they're either uh, are already retired, they're approaching retirement, or they're thinking about it. And an RV is probably in your future. I want you to be fully aware, as aware as you can be. Watch Wingman Wisdom. Feed off. Ask questions of the people that make comments below. They're very, very smart. Kathleen, you were right. Joy, you're great. So many people that watch Wingman Wisdom, like I said, I feed off of you. I get a lot of ideas off of you. Again, this may have been too deep into the weeds. If somebody from General RV is watching this, I wish I could get some clarity. I promise I will I will give the whole story. If you will tell me what the story is, if you have RVs, if that's really commonplace, I have talked to some dealers, really good dealers that I work with, and they say it's not all that uncommon. However, somebody could, if they wanted to, try to sneak around the system. Again, I don't think it's happening, but it could happen. Let me know what you think. Do you like this kind of stuff or like me to stay clear of it? 
Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being a part of our community. Again, I read every comment. I listen to every voicemail. And if you have not yet downloaded my free RV report, you can click on the word more down below. It'll open up, send you to freervreport.com. I don't want you getting ripped off when you buy an RV or you sell an RV. I want you to be a smart, happy camper. To do that, you've got to be an informed camper. So go to freervreport.com, download the free report, and uh, let me know what you think about it. Thank you again for watching. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.